Hello, hello, Jeff Helman here with the Lori Ballin team and Ballin Brands at your command. Today I want to do a quick video about referrals, the agent referrals from within command. So over here we're going to go to the applet on the left for referrals. And we have a new feature here where they're showing opportunities on the referral cards. So that's really what I want to point out here today. So if I go into my referrals. I've done a couple tests here so that we can see these. So if I go under active referrals, uh, one of the new things that they added is being able to actually see the pipeline phase. So they're calling this the referral card. And of course we have the general information such as who sent the referral, some details about that, and then of course the client name and uh, those types of pieces of information here. And I can view the activity log so I can see everything that's been going on. So this is a nice you know, real easy way to keep things in order to kind of know who you've sent out. These are ones that I've sent out. These are ones that I've received from other agents. Uh, but what they're really doing here is, is stepping up the communication between agents. So when this first rolled out, it was really up to us to kind of, um, you know, update the other agent on the other end in order whenever we did some status changes. And that would only be if we physically went in and clicked on send update, typed out a message and then and click send update. Um, and we were finding out that sometimes the agents weren't getting the updates or certain notifications, but also to, to take this very intentional step. Unfortunately, as real estate agents, a lot of times we might find ourselves skipping that step and just trusting like, oh, maybe this isn't that important right now because they're not funded yet or because we haven't reached this milestone. But what's really cool about this is now there's the pipeline phase that's been added. And what we're able to do with that is we can go in at any time and see how many are, are active or where they're at in the stages. So our opportunity uh, pipeline stages that we have set up for our contacts here, for our clients that we're working with, now gets uh, sent back to the agent. In addition to that, anytime I send updates or anything like that, I do get a notification or the receiving agent, I should say, gets a notification from within the Kelly app. So uh, when I was working with another agent on my team here through this process, we were able to see that as soon as I sent update, they got a notification. I did expect to see a notification up here in the, you know, under the little bell for the notifications, but that didn't happen. So I'm not sure if that's intentional or if that's something they're still working on, but I did get a push notification right into my Kelly app, which was nice. So we wanna make sure we have that installed and utilizing that as well. And then, so the newer thing also is that if I were actually to go to this particular contact in my system, so let's go ahead and pull that up here. All right, and if I go into, let's say opportunities, so I can see the particular opportunities and I edit that opportunity to go to a different stage now, um, then let's say now instead of searchings, we're in negotiations and hit save. So that now has been updated on that referral card and it's supposed to also send according to the latest information from command, agents can see the opportunity phase status in their referral card and receive notifications when the opportunity changes phases. So I did test that, I didn't actually see that work yet. Um, however, I, it, there could just be a delay or something else of that nature, but I think that's a really big step here with agent referrals. The other thing is we can also create a new opportunity from a referral card, which is also very cool. So if I go to referrals and let's say I'm going to send a new referral, let's say I pick Krista on our team and I click send referral, then I can fill out this information here. I can select a contact that's already in my database because maybe I'm keeping in touch with them, which makes sense. Or maybe I just met them and I'm going straight for the referral. So I can actually create a new contact at this point and send that to the referral. Now, as the receiving agent, I will get a pop-up that allows me to accept that referral. And when I accept it, I can create an opportunity now right from that referral card. Before it used to be that it would just accept it. I'd then have to go in separately um, under opportunities or under the contact and then go set up an opportunity from within the contact. So now there's a little shortcut where I can do it right from the screen. So we're seeing a lot of cool advancements here with agent referrals. Uh, of course, we love your agent referrals here in Las Vegas, Lori Ballin. 
would love to receive your referrals and of course us on our team will help fulfill those and basically like i said the command system is doing a great job of helping us all continue to work together you know keep it within kw giving us a lot of opportunity to earn additional income for the contacts and touches that we're making so just a reminder to just keep talking to anybody everybody let's make our touches let's see what we can do to be a valuable asset to them and the money will come after that so if you have any questions by all means you can reach out to us at team at balanbrands.com we also a great resource is the facebook page the 365 days of command or laurieballensunderstandingcommand.com